Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another tutorial video. Today we are here checking out what pet is the best pet, best looking pet, I guess I should say, in 1.4. And obviously, this is all an opinion. Let's go ahead, let's start the war in the comments, stating, you know, what pet we think all is the best looking one. Now, obviously, we got all the new pets from 1.4, including master mode pets. Light pets are, of course, gonna be included in this because they're pets with just the word light in front of them. All right, so let's go ahead, let's start this up here. Obviously, we got all the vanilla pets here and uh we're gonna change up the order how we do this we're gonna do light pets first from before the update and then we're gonna do light pets after the update okay that's how we're doing it so let, let's just start with this oh yeah i love when the whole order flips all right let's start with our first light pet here the shadow orb now light pets they do what you think they do they create light the shadow orb not the greatest excuse me mr no the shadow orb is not the greatest but like it still gives you light it does its job right next up we got the crimson heart same thing another light pet it does its job it's a little ugly both of these things are a little ugly if we're being honest uh, i wouldn't say ugly for the shadow orb but it's not really much but the crimson heart it looks like a pair of cheeks uh it looks like a pear also i guess you know you you get to choose whatever you want apparently it's a heart though next up we got the magic lantern this one's actually a really good pet barely gives off light as you can see but it does do something special and that is show nearby treasure loot and all that and uh, that could be a very very useful all right next up we got the fairy bell which summons a fairy this shit's hurting my eyes i need to take this off yeah summons a little fairy i don't know if the fairy can change color i don't think it can but let me let me summon it in a couple times let's, let's see you never know oh it can change color okay so that's definitely a plus side there let's see how good the light is not too bad of a light the light is just gradually getting better as we go through all the light pets next up we got the wisp in a bottle this light pet i'm pretty sure is actually really really good yeah it causes a lot of light or creates a lot of light pretty much enough to not have to use torch at this point and i haven't said much for looks for most of these pets because there's not much to look at but this pet specifically is very unique i like how it looks next up the creeper egg here it summons a flicker wick i don't know why it's called creeper egg this dude got a little blue candle on his head doesn't provide too much light but uh it's still not bad better than the shadow orb and the crimson heart and last but not least we got the suspicious looking eye probably the best light pet you could get before 1.4 it's very very bright very very nice but you kind of had to kill moon lord to get it in expert mode so uh i don't know about it but it definitely is the coolest looking pet so far i'll probably give this this eye and the creeper egg or the the flicker wick the best looks for light pets so far but now let's check out the 1.4 light pets let's peep the 1.4 light pets here and i believe the 1.4 light pets they go hard starting with the guardian golem god damn he's the size of me he should be the one fighting bosses not me yeah look at the guardian golem here he's beautiful honestly he might win for my favorite light pet but let's see the light part in action let's see the light part in action okay that's a good bit of light right there this is probably around like the last sort of three light pets from pre 1.4 i'm talking like the wisp the suspicious eye you know it's got like the same radius but using orange instead of blue it's a, it's a little bit brighter all right next up pumpkin scented candle i can't smell it but this one also looks very very cool i like how the uh, pumpkin face here it's got the little jittery effect going on that's very very cool again let's see it in action though okay also uses the orange light and i'm noticing something when it's in the wall the light kind of dims i don't know if that's a very cool detail or uh kind of useless detail or kind of useless function because it's a light pet and then when the pet's in the wall it's not giving off as much light so i don't know how to feel about it in terms of usefulness maybe not the most useful but but in terms of looks it's got style and last but not least the jewel of light here let's see it in action this is a master mode light pet i think all of these are master mode light pets yeah uh, we got the empress of light a little miniature version this one i have a lot of hope for in terms of being the brightest okay it's pretty bright but does it suffer from the same fate of being in the wall i don't know man maybe they all do this and i just wasn't paying attention but uh, i feel like no matter if they're in the wall or not like look she wasn't even in the wall right there look she's not she's not in the wall barely in the wall but uh yeah it, she gives off a lot of light though or it gives off a lot of light covers a little bit more area probably might be the best in terms of uh radius because it seems pretty big but i don't know maybe i'm just tripping but yeah in terms of light pets 
I'm gonna have to give it to the golem, man. The golem looks too cool. He's huge as hell. He gives he gives off a nice orange light, and uh, you win my vote for best looking master mode light pet. All right, let us get to the classic vanilla pre 1.4 pets. Starting, oh my god, look look at all those words. Starting with the carrot, aka pet bunny. Where the hell is it? I don't see it. You know why I don't see it? It's because I don't have the code written down or the collector's edition installed. Well, actually, I do have the collector's edition, but obviously I haven't really touched anything with it. Yeah, you need to have the collector's edition or you need to like go into the code or something like that. Go into the files and write down a little like script for it. And you can have the carrot. It's just the bunny. The bunny replicates the color, your skin color, I believe. Is it your skin color or is it your clothes? It's your clothes color. No way it's the skin color. I don't know. But it's just the bunny. We got a nice changing music here sweet next up we got the eater's bone look at him it's just a miniature eater they're ugly so this one's pretty ugly next up we got the the rattle bone rattle okay this one isn't too bad it's still pretty ugly but uh a little bit better than the eater i would say next up the baby hornet it's a baby hornet there's not much to it bone key now this one is a little, little tough to get right you need to kill the uh dungeon guardian for this one this one's not bad though i swear it spins at some point i don't know it kind of just floats around it's, it's okay for the effort put in to get it it could be cool next up we got the the penguin okay so the penguin I always thought looked really weird like i don't what's going on with the top of the penguin's head i don't i don't know that that's always bothered me so that's why i've never really liked the penguin pet next up the turtle if you watched like og modded playthroughs for me you know that i love the turtle and th that's all there is to say I, I don't know why he's a little unproportionate like his head seems extremely tiny compared to the rest of his body i don't know why next up the snowman this one is actually not too bad this one's very cool it has a very cool animation when it walks i like the snowman we got the amber mosquito you know this honestly might win for the coolest looking vanilla or the coolest looking pre 1.4 pets there's one cool feature that this dude has and it's when you fly look at that he's got the little pterodactyl helping him out here pterodon helping him out and it's a very very nice detail kind of like a two for one pet deal all right next up the zephyr fish i don't like this one it's the fish looks cool don't get me wrong but it's kind of boring we got the dragon egg this is supposed to be a dragon apparently i could barely tell uh it's holding something i think is that its eye that part right there Th that's a tooth i don't know i never could see a dragon in this sprite next up the gato egg i actually really like this one the gato or cat if we're translating it right is that what that's supposed to mean i think it is it's a very very cute looking it's got the uh the little sad face and it's got a little helicopter thing going on a little propeller thing so it's not too bad next up we got the minotaur honestly it's pretty damn cool but uh compared to others i don't think i would choose this one as my favorite we got the lizard the lizard kind of ugly like look at his face what is that face i'm pretty sure he also oh my god he has wings <laughs> I thought a snake would pick him up, but no, he has wings himself. God damn. We got the dog whistle. Come on. It's the doggo. Look at him. Look at him run. That's amazing. Tiki Totem. Only because I am a Crash Bandicoot fan. No, shout out my boy Aku Aku. What does he say when you when you pick him up? He's like, Udubuga. So uh, I will I will give this one a thumbs up. Boom, we got the pumpkin. So this one, they didn't update its face to have the little shaky effect like they did for this uh for this light pet here. Kind of upsetting, but I think we're used to Relogic doing stuff like that. But it is honestly not too bad of a pet. It looked really cool. It's honestly one of my favorite event looking pets. But that's also right next to this dude who also doesn't have a shaky face. This dude looks amazing too. He's definitely probably up there for the event pets, even though the dog and the Grinch, baby Grinch are pretty cool. They're, all the event pets are just cool. Next up, the spider one. Okay, so maybe this one isn't that cool, but you know, I was trying to be nice. This one isn't that cool. What happens when it flies? Does he get wings? Oh, well, that's a little, that's a pretty cool uh, flying effect. Maybe I should have been testing all the flying effects. Whatever, too late. We got the cat. The cat got a nice hat. That's it. Even though the hat looks kind of weird with the ears being outside of it, I think the ears should be inside of it because that's a big ass hat. You tell me the ears wouldn't just be covered. Flying animation isn't on a broom. Okay, nice. Seedling. I like the seedling. He looks funny. That's it. And I'm also a fan of Pikmin and he reminds me of Pikmin. We got the parrot. It's a fucking parrot. Nah, there's not much to it. We got the eye spring. This one's a very unique one. It's cool, but not that cool. Companion cube. You know, if you love portal and stuff like that. Boom, bada bing. You got the companion cube. Me, I'm a fan of it and not a fan of it at the same time. Because if you ever go underground or you're near lava, you get a little jump scare when having this thing around. We got the spore. I like the spore. 
That's only because I like mushroom themed stuff. That's it. Or baby truffle. I don't know why I said sport. I'm just calling them off their names of the actual like item. And last but not least, we got the baby Grinch. Come on, it's it's the Grinch, but a baby. All right, so we did the vanilla pets. I'm hyped to get into the master mode pets here. Oh, I don't know why I said master mode pets, but all the pets because a, a majority of these are master mode, but also a good chunk of new pets from just regular non master mode gameplay. So we're gonna start with these ones here, all the non master mode stuff and uh i haven't seen a lot of these so i'm kind of hyped to see these in action let's start with the exotic chew toy which summons in a fennec fox this one is not too bad personally i'm not a fan of fennec foxes i don't hate them or anything but it's like they're, they're cute that, that's about it that's all i can say about them i don't have any other attachment they got funny looking ears though next up bedazzled nectar summons a pet better butterfly wow this one i already knew it sucked once it said butterfly not a fan of butterflies uh that's it just not a fan of them and this butterfly it just looks like an empress light themed butterfly or hollow themed butterfly next up birdie rattles summons a baby harpy okay this this one isn't too bad got the little the little buns like princess leia it's not too bad i like this one harpies have really cool colors too this one has more of a blue and pink do, do harpies have blue and pink or is it blue and red i think when they updated the sprite it became more blue and pink and those two colors they pop out a lot so this one is pretty cool mud butter summons in plantar plantero little plantero oh my god i like this one look at the little goofy ass legs doesn't it turn into oh there you go there we go phase two it's leaving a lot of leaves everywhere i don't know if i like that but i really do like how it walks look at that look at that thing walk what is that and then let's do one more before nighttime arises here and i have to go sleep and make it daytime uh because i'm still not playing on a journeys mode character ornate shadow key pet shadow mimic the mimic itself is smaller than other chest i think and it's still pretty cool I do actually like this a lot. All right, let's hop back into it now that daytime is here. Full moon squeaky toy summons a baby werewolf. This thing better be adorable. God damn, baby. Almost the size of me. This one, I don't know if I can get behind. It's, it's kind of scary looking. Ball of fuse wire. Summons a dynamite kitten. God damn. Okay, see, look at this. This cat's ears are hidden behind the hat. So why can't the, the witch cat's ears be behind the hat? I don't know. Does he fly with anything cool? Oh my god. Hey, he better watch out. Next up, lightning carrot. So this thing, I never really was a fan of. A fan of. I mean, I'll buy it if I see it. And I don't have any other cooler pets. Or I, I just want to have it. Uh, I'll buy it. But this thing, it's okay. We got the baby imp. I actually do like the baby imp. This one is on the more adorable side of baby things. Unlike the baby werewolf. We got the red panda very very nice now believe it or not red pandas are not bears i believe i think they're more related to foxes or something like that i don't know don't quote me on that but i can always get behind some red pandas next up pet sugar glider let's see it we gotta see a fly oh look at it fly that's what they're known for right gliding shark bait some is a shark pup what in the hell is that thing you tell me that's both of its eyes right there this thing's kind of scary more than it is adorable like what is i don't know what's going on with the eyes man and it just always floats because it's a shark and it needs to be in water something like that and last but not least here for the non-master mode pets we have esty which of course is a mario reference nintendo reference whatever the hell you want to say rosalina not bad pretty cool you like to see it all right let's get to it the master mode pets now i believe that all master mode bosses when you fight them in master mode they should all drop a pet uh, whether it's a light pet or a regular pet you know the wall of flesh for example just drops a mount i think it should drop the mount and a pet you know you know what i'm saying but uh this is what we got here starting with the royal delight not bad not bad at all i feel like the master mode pets that's where they went in a bit with the animations and stuff next up suspicious grinning eye okay this is just a retexture this one kind of sucks we got the writhing remains very 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 cool i don't know why i said very so many times we got the brain in a jar very unique next up we got the sparkling honey this one i'm not feeling the vibes of this one it's not bad it's nothing crazy for me at least possess skull now here we go this is where i fell in love with the master mode pets i love this one and i love the skeletron prime one it's just it's so cool looking and i believe they spin yeah when you fly away they start doing a little spin it's very very dope this one and the skeletron prime one you know they might be the winners regal de delicacy is that what they said slime princess she's knocked out it's like damn i'm that boring oh no she just looks like that <laughs> 
Next up, pair of eyeballs. This one, the double resprite, but at least there's two of them, so that makes it a little bit cooler. Look at that, they do a little spin. What do they do when I fly away? Oh, they don't open their mouths. Next up, deactivated probe. Pretty much an upgrade to the writhing remains. Also very, very cool. And then we got the robotic skull. Yes, sir, an upgrade to the skeletron pet. Way cooler looking than the skeletron pet, but no, I still like the skeletron one too. But look at him spin, look at him spin. Even his weapons spin, that's amazing. We got the Plantera Seedling. Plantera got like three different things. It's got the Seedling, it's got Plantaro. Where the hell is Plantaro? He's somewhere. This one's very cool looking. I do like me some carnivorous plants. They always look cool in video games. Doesn't have like a crazy cool animation of flying around. Got the little the petals around it kind of spinning though. Next up, we got, oh bunny kite we got the ogre this one's actually not too bad he's, he's a little ugly they try to make him cute he's still a little ugly but i'll give it to him i like ogres next up we got betsy's egg here okay this thing i feel like they're trying to go for a, a little how to train your dragon type vibes here and they try to make it cute you know funny looking it's more on the the, the dumb looking side in my opinion it's still cool but it's it looks a little a little too dumb for me i don't know i think i would have messed with like a more serious one and also why is it shaped like the red bird from angry birds next up we got the shrub star oh i can get down with this one i can get down with this one my boy look like he's just in disguise you know what i'm saying he also has a creeper face look that's the face of a creeper minecraft creeper right there that or he has a mustache i don't know that, that can either be a mouth or a mustache but i mess with this one what does he look like when he flies oh my god he's got rockets frozen crown okay it's literally just the ice queen i don't really like this one it's like just a side view of her they didn't feel like doing a full like view of her you know you can make a full view of her if they just legit flipped her just like that boom you got the full view of her next up pork of the sea okay i can get behind this one you know they try and baby fly a bunch of uh pets here and this one is actually not too bad i, I can get behind this one next up we got the tablet fragment oh man this is sweet this is sweet as hell this is like the the third tier upgrade to the writhing remains and the deactivated probe not too bad this one honestly might get it and last but not least piece of moon squid summons a moonling let's see what a moonling is ew it's pretty it's a cool kind of ew though i can get behind i can get behind the ew on this one so yeah that was all the pets here now i think i should do a top three with a for sure top one though okay so let's get to it first let me fly my kite There you go. All right, I slept until daytime and it decided to rain sweet. So let me go ahead and give out my top three here. Top one for sure is gonna go to the Skeletron Prime pet. First time I saw it, I fell in love with how it looks. So it's getting the number one spot for me. But then the top two and three after that is the Phantasmal Dragon here. Very, very cool. It looks like a damn summon. Uh, kind of should be a summon. I kind of wish they used the Phantasmal Dragon for like a weapon or something. And then we got the Ever Scream Sapling. Just because he looks funny, just because he walks funny. You know, I gave him my top three. There, there were some close ones though with the top four and five. Definitely Plantaro is up there just off the walk alone but yeah those are my top three um and then my my top one from the light pets is the guardian golem look at this i got a miniature boss army here but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video kind of just being a little filler video as i work on the next summoner episode uh just getting back to working on stuff because i took a couple days off to celebrate and hang out with my friends for a little bit that's really it is just hang out with my friends but yeah we'll be back to video soon summoner episode coming soon maybe i don't know depends how long it takes for me to fight the empress of light become a channel member